Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. And I'm Liv. It's a good thing we both have a lot of energy today because today's show is on energy drinks. More on that after news. A woman in Jefferson County was accused of trying to hit two police officers with her vehicle. They tried to approach the woman, Taylor Glass, and when they got close, she stepped on the gas and almost ran into the officers. The second time she accelerated, she almost hit the second officer. When they tried to arrest her, she was resisting arrest. She was supposed to be tried in court, but never showed up. Previously, she had had many charges against her, and following the vehicle incident, she had been charged six times. She was held in centralized arraignment court and held at the Jefferson County Jail without bail, Trooper said. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has won permission to try and appeal against a decision to allow him to be extradited in the United States where he faces charges under Espionage Act for his role in publishing thousands of classified military and diplomatic cables. The decision in extradite Assange has been resisted in mental health. In January 2021, magistrate's court ruling found that Assange could be extradited as it would be oppre oppressive by reason of his mental health. But the high court overturned that decision in December, saying Assange could be extradited to the U.S. in basis assurances given to the U.S. government about his treatment there. Assange would not be made subject of special administrative measures, nor would he be held at maximum security prison before or after trial. Assange is wanted in the U.S. 18 criminal charges. Wikilinks published thousands of classified files and diplomatic cables in 2010. If convicted, he faces up to 175 years in prison. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Big news out of the weight room. On Friday, Jaden McIntyre earned a 600 club shirt. Jaden, a junior, squatted 350 pounds to go along with his 250 pound bench press. And continuing with weight room news, football and winter practice will be from 7 to 9 p.m. tonight. Please come in through the weight room doors and masks are required. Contact Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. This Friday during lunches, the Youth Development and Leadership Group will be handing out candy bags to everyone on their way out. There will also be a few cahoots relative to the pride matrix presented, so feel free to join and the top winners will win a prize. Okay, so I think all of us have had one energy drink once in our lives and have experienced the energy rush and many feelings that come with it. Have you ever had any of these energy drinks before, Liv? I've actually had a lot, and I've had a lot of different kinds of energy drinks because I drink them before, like, my softball games, and also I bring them to school with me. Yeah, yep, me too. Look at, look at all those. Oh, my God, there's so many varieties. It's been found that next to multivitamins, energy drinks are the most popular dietary supplement for teens and adults. Men between the ages of 18 and 34 consume the most energy drinks, and one-third of tweens, teens between 12 and 17 drink them regularly. There are many different energy drinks on the market, and we chose the four most popular, or a couple popular. Our first one is Red Bull, Coconut Red Bull, and it has the same amount of caffeine as one cup of coffee. So and it's blue color, look at that. It's very blue. My shears. Yeah, I like this one, this one's my favorite. And that's, yeah, it's like tropical, tastes tropical. Now, even though these energy drinks make us feel great, we're on top of the world right now. Um, there are also many unwanted side effects, and we will talk more about these side effects after weather. Today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 20. There is also a 40% chance of snow today. Tomorrow is going to be cloudy again with some snow scattered throughout the day. There is a high of 27 and a low of 4 degrees. Wednesday is going to be a little bit colder with a high of 11 degrees and a low of negative 2 degrees.
Going down the line, we have Bang, which contains 300 milligrams of caffeine and is an equivalent to three cups of coffee when you drink one can. Now, these are quick to work and have more serious side effects like shakiness and anxiety from the high amount of caffeine. Okay, wanna... this one's my favorite. I have had this before. I hate Bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my God, here the fizz. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you know, what? That's uh, that tasted different the last time I tasted it. That's literally awful. Yeah. Yep. Um, next up is Monster. These are popular. <coughs> and one of the downsides of these is the high amount of sugar they contain. And these all contain, really, a high amount of sugar. What flavor is that one? Pineapple. Oh. Ultra Gold. This one actually has zero sugar. It's yellow. You can't really see it. But it's very <laughs> yellow. <laughs> I like that. I See, that like one's that. not bad. That's good. Um, and we did not bring this one in, but this is also for any fitness junkies out there. We have Celsius. These are made with organic ingredients such as guarana and taurine. Yeah, guarana and taurine. And this drink is said to boost your metabolism and contain a low amount of sugar and carbs. So we hope you've learned a lot about energy drinks and remember to consume. Oh, no, we're on to sports next. The girls bowling team won 3-0 against Central Square. Emily Blakeman led the team with 432 points, and the close behind was Alana Turbyville scoring 422 points. The boys bowling team won 2-1 against Central Square. Luke Liedka led the team with 633 points, and Mike Saunders scored 610 points. The boys basketball team won 51-40 against Fowler. Houston, Kalkin, and Tristan Henderson both scored six two-pointers, and A.J. Graham had five three throws. The girls basketball team lost 30, 37 to 33 against Chittenango. Angelina Polcaro led the team in points with 12, and Naya Jones scored 10 points. On Saturday, the girls volleyball team won 3-1 against CBA. Margaret Madding led the team with 11 kills, and Laura Sitnik led led the team in digs with 12, and Natalie Peterson led the team with 32 assists. The boys track team won the Bob Grief Memorial Meet on Saturday, beating out JD and 11 other teams. Rocky L got, the fir got first in the 55 meters and triple jump. Mike Parks won high jump in 55 hurdles. Kayla Bird got finished first in the 1,000, and Joe Pedroso Garcia followed, with behind, followed just behind getting second. Kevin Hasty won the weight throw and got third in in shot put. Sol Schofield got third place in the 600. Luke Mancini, Mancini Power, got fifth, and Aiden O'Brien got sixth in pole vault on their first time ever doing the event. The girls track team got fourth in the meet. Kaylee Malouf got second in triple and fourth in the 55 hurdles, where teammate Ariana Brennan got third. Ariana got second in long jump and also tied for second in high jump with teammate Rhiannon Butchko. Rachel Ladd got second in the 600, and Riley King finished third in the 55-meter dash. Last night, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills 41-36 to in overtime. The Rams also beat the Buccaneers 30-27. to In upcoming news, boys basketball plays at home against JD at 6.45, and I'm Ellie with your sports. It's been shown that large amounts of caffeine increase your heart rate and blood pressure, mess with sleep patterns, and cause anxiety and digestive problems. An example is five, ener ener five hour energy. After consuming one, it takes 10 minutes for the caffeine to enter your bloodstream. It takes your body five to six hours to reduce the content of caffeine in your bloodstream by 50%. We hope you've learned a lot about energy drinks and remember to consume them in moderation. From me, Liv, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have an awesome day.